So a couple of weeks ago, I made a data analyst roadmap that teaches you how to become a data analyst in three months. I wanted to make a follow-up video to smoothen the journey and also help you pivot from data analysts to other roles like data engineering, data architecture, and data science. The obvious thought is if you want to get into the field of data, you should be using data to make that process easier. So that's exactly what I did. After analyzing thousands and thousands of data jobs, these are the most in-demand skills for the role. The first skill is SQL. It is no surprise to me that SQL is the most in-demand skill for this role. In fact, a lot of tech jobs in general require some basic SQL proficiency. SQL in general is just a useful tool when you're dealing with data. It allows you to play with data, it allows you to come up with good queries to you know, filter out your data. It also allows you to do various other things that you might need to do with your job. SQL is also super easy to learn and beginner friendly. To quote my mentor, SQL is an easy skill to learn, but it takes a lifetime to master. If I was starting from scratch, I would definitely go into SQL and try to pick that up. On top of that, I think you should also pick up a tool like Excel or Google Sheets and learn that. Based on various job descriptions, the pay for Excel users is much higher, so I would probably pick Excel over Google Sheets, but the skills are very transferable, so don't worry too much. I think smaller companies like startups tend to use Google Sheets because it might be cheaper, but like I said before, the skills are very transferable, so don't worry about that too much. You can also easily pick up a free certification for either of the skills. I will leave a couple links down below for your reference. Aside from that, I think it's incredibly useful to learn a diverse programming language. My recommendations are R or Python. If you enjoy statistics, I think R is a better choice for you. It's heavily used for the field of statistical analysis. So if that's what you wanna get into, I think that's a good starting point. That's not to say that Python isn't capable. Python is very capable and it's also used widely for machine learning, web scraping, and web development. It's also commonly used for AI and other things. So feel free to learn Python if that's what interests you. I personally like Python more. I think it's much more convenient and diverse. In fact, I use that daily for my job. Again, in terms of pay, I think Python is more lucrative because Python analysts tend to earn more. If you do choose Python, there are a bunch of YouTubers out there who give very good in-depth Python courses. I'll leave a couple links down below. My recommendation is a YouTuber called Sendex. I learned a lot from him in terms of Python and Python skills, so I, I will leave a link to his channel down below. Overall, you want to learn some basic libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. Once you completed the basic libraries, you can go into statistical analysis and learn from YouTubers like Khan Academy or learn from Seeing Theory from Brown University. Again, the links will all be in the description below, so feel free to check those out. This will overall give you an advantage if you want to pivot careers later on. It allows you to learn a deep Deep learning, machine learning, AI, and more complex techniques later on. Lastly, you'll want to learn how to use a BI tool. BI basically means business insights or business intelligence. And these tools are usually used to convert data-driven insights into a more congestible or digestible format for your stakeholders to understand. You will typically use these tools to make dashboards, charts, tables, and graphs. And these tools are typically very user-friendly. There are three common BI tools that are used in the industry. Those tools are Tableau, Power BI, and Looker. Tableau and Power BI are probably the most famous ones, but I prefer Looker. I think it's the up and coming BI tool. It's from Google, it's pretty cheap and very easy to learn. And it also comes with LookML, which is a modeling language you can use to produce better work. Like Excel and Google Sheets, these skills are highly transferable, so don't spend too much time figuring out which tool you should learn first. In terms of cloud skills, there are a few big ones that you should know of, like Amazon Web Services, Azure, and Databricks. There are many others, but these are the ones that are heavily used in the industry. Again, all these skills are very useful and very transferable, but I would choose AWS to learn first because I think it's the most commonly used cloud service in the industry. Additionally, if you already know which industry you want to go to, it might be more beneficial for you to figure out what skill is commonly used there. For example, in the healthcare industry, SaaS is probably the most heavily used tool, so you might want to focus on learning SaaS. Again, I left some resources down below and you can use those resources to learn some of these skills, but I will say participating in Kaggle competitions or contributing in community work or GitHub open source projects will definitely make you stand out. You can also do personal projects and publish that on your portfolio. If you're interested in that, I made a video talking about how to make a web portfolio in under 10 minutes for completely free and I'll leave a link to that video down below. Also, if you've already completed all the basic skills, I would spend some time researching and staying up to date with the field and look at where it's pivoting to. For example, Golang is getting a lot of attention right now so it might be smart for you to learn that programming language next so you can stay ahead of the field. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, being a data analyst doesn't have to be the end goal. It's usually the easiest way to break into the field of data because it has the lowest barrier to entry. Uh, a lot of data analyst jobs do not require a degree. In fact, some just require certifications or boot camps. So feel free to try that out on your own. But once you have the skills and experience as a data analyst, you can definitely expand or pivot into more lucrative roles that fit into your interests better. For example, you might be interested to become a data engineer. So I would recommend you learn skills like DBT on top of the skills you already have. And then you can slowly pivot to becoming a data analytics engineer and then eventually becoming a data engineer. Or you might want to become a data scientist and this is where you would hone in on your skills in machine learning and AI. For those of you who want to investigate the different tools and skills used for data careers more, I will leave a link to this website I use from a fellow YouTuber. His name is Luke and he's an amazing data analyst. I recommend checking his channel out. He helped me out a lot when I was just starting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.